The 4x4 Mirror Cube is a non-WCA puzzle that was produced by, well, Lee, if you're the cubicle, and Jumo, if you're Cubes EZ. I don't know who's correct. So it costs $35 on Cubes EZ, about £28. So it is quite expensive, especially for a 4x4 shape mod. The cube was made by taking a standard 4x4 and then adding 3D printed extensions to the pieces to make it a mirror cube. This means that the cube is very big because it's a 4x4 plus all the extensions. Here it is compared to a 3x3. It turns about as well as you can expect for something that has a lot of 3D printed pieces. The turning is pretty fast and smooth, but it can catch a lot when you turn it, so you won't be turning very fast. Also, the internal bits of the extensions are not at all smooth, so this is one of the scratchiest cubes that I have. However, as long as you don't mind the scratchiness, the turning is definitely good enough to not be an issue. The company that makes these cubes is obviously just a small-scale 3D printing operation, and they have taken massive strides in making big mirror and big ghost cubes. This is a really good thing for the non-WCA market, but it does mean that the cube does have some things where you can tell there is a lack of quality control. Like, I had to separate two pieces with a knife because they were stuck together. The solve is the same as a normal 4x4, just lining up shapes instead of colours. It takes about 10 minutes to do a solve, mainly due to the fact that edge pairing is quite difficult, as all of the edges look very similar when the cube is scrambled. The solve is pretty fun, but it's not that interesting, and it does not add anything on top of the normal 4x4 solve. So it's a good solve the first few times, but it's not a cube that you will be constantly coming back to, like the ready cube or multi cube are. So should you get this cube? For most people, I don't think so. It's just too expensive for me to recommend it, and nothing about this cube makes it worth the money. For the £30 that you would spend on it, you could instead get two or three really good and unique non-WCA puzzles. I really like what this company is doing, and I've wanted a 4x4 mirror cube for a while, but I do think your money would be better spent on different non-WCA cubes.